Tokyo Disney Sea Street Food Tour 20 Food Recommendations Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we will explore street food at Tokyo Disney Sea. We will introduce 20 kinds of food, including the latest dishes and classic desserts. We also introduce a lot of useful information for your trip, so be sure to watch it until the end. Now, let's get started! We are going to Urayasu City, Chiba Prefecture, where Tokyo Disney Resort is. We have arrived at Maihama Station. It takes about 60 minutes by train from Tokyo Station, where the bullet train arrives and departs. Disneyland is close to Maihama Station and can be reached on foot, but Disney Sea takes about 15 minutes on foot, so most people use the monorail. The monorail is located at Resort Gateway Station right in front of Maihama Station. Although it is possible to buy a ticket and board the monorail, it is also possible to use Suica or Pasmo. It takes about 10 minutes from the resort gateway station to the station where Disney Sea is. By the way, there are four stations on this monorail that can take passengers to Disneyland and nearby hotels. We have arrived at Tokyo Disney Sea Station. The entrance to Disney Sea is right in front of us when we get off the train. It is not allowed to bring suitcases, bottles, and cans into the parks of Disney Sea inland. If you bring suitcases, please put them in the lockers at the Tokyo Disney Sea station. Currently, Disneyland and Disney Sea do not sell park tickets at ticket booths and can only be purchased online. Since it is often crowded on weekends and holidays, It may not be possible to buy tickets on the day of purchase. We recommend that you purchase tickets in advance. After purchasing a ticket, use the QR code to enter. By the way, even if you enter once, you can re enter. Then, let's enjoy Disney Sea! Entering the park, there is a huge globe, the symbol of Disney Sea. There is a souvenir shop in this area across the globe. It is recommended to buy souvenirs before the evening time because it will be crowded in the evening. After passing through this area, the ocean in the middle of Disney Sea comes into view. In this time, we will introduce the seven areas in Disney Sea. Divided into each area. The first area we will introduce is the American waterfront. This area is designed to resemble an American port town. In this area, there is the Toy Story attraction, Toy Story Mania. There are also stores specializing in Duffy and Shelly Mae, two of the most popular characters at Disney Sea. The first restaurant in this area is Restaurant Sakura. This restaurant serves Japanese food. This time, we will introduce a popular dish available at the t o g o counter outside the restaurant. This is teriyaki chicken roll. It has a nice smell of aonori seaweed. The teriyaki sauce is sweet, and the spiciness of the black pepper is a nice accent. The chicken is tender and fatty because it is made of chicken thigh. The seasoning is strong, which is nice. Next, we will introduce Liberty Landing Diner. This place specializes in churros. There are 14 churros specialty stores in Disneyland and Disney Sea, but the one we will introduce here is a special churros that is only available at this store. There are churros flavored with mitarashi dango, which is a combination of sugar and soy sauce. The package is a retro Japanese design. 
it has a nice smell of soy sauce and the sweetness of sugar. The outside is crispy, but the inside is moist. The flavor is just right, not too sweet. Besides this churro, we will introduce other special churros later. Next, we will introduce you to Dockside Diner. This restaurant is designed in the image of a cargo warehouse in a port town. Here, we eat a dish that's been talked about on social media as being delicious. This is a pastrami beef sandwich. This baguette has a nice buttery flavor. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. The pastrami is moderately fatty and has a nice black pepper flavor. It is seasoned with onion sauce and mayonnaise sauce. The bread is large and the pastrami is filling and satisfying. Next, we will have popcorn here. There are more than 10 types of popcorn at Disneyland and DisneySea, but the one we will introduce here is a special type of popcorn that is only available at this store. That is this garlic shrimp flavor. It has a nice garlic smell. By the way, if you fold the top of the box, the popcorn will not be scattered and it is easy to carry. It has the aroma of garlic as well as shrimp and sweetness. It is not sweet, so this popcorn is recommended for those who do not like sweet. Next, we introduce this store, Barnacle Bills. They also offer beer here. We would like to introduce some recommended dishes that go well with beer. This is a sausage with bone. The sausage is slowly smoked, so it has a savory flavor. The skin is crispy. The juices from the inside overflow. The spicy taste of black pepper is nice. It goes great with beer. The next area we will introduce is Mediterranean Harbor, located near the entrance to Disney Sea. This area is popular for its beautiful cityscape, which is reminiscent of Southern Europe. The first place we will introduce in this area is Mama Biscotti's Bakery. It is located near the entrance to the park, so we recommend eating breakfast here. There are many kinds of breads, but we will introduce two types of food. The first one is the Tokyo Disney Resort 40th Anniversary Limited Edition Donut. They are so adorable in the shape of Mickey's face. It's a sweet donut covered with lots of chocolate. There's tiramisu inside. The bitter taste of espresso and the subtle sweetness of mascarpone are authentic. The texture of the almonds is a nice accent. Next stop is a melon bread featuring the face of popular Monsters Inc. character Mike. The outside is crispy and buttery sweet. The inside is filled with cream with melon juice. The sweetness of melon fills the mouth. The dough is fluffy and light in texture. Be sure to try the melon bread, which originated in Japan. Next, we will introduce you to Refrakos, located at the end of the fountain. The next item introduced here is the 40th Anniversary Limited Edition Miki Ukiwa Ban. It is a cute swim ring-shaped Chinese bun that is popular on social media. The dough is fluffy and moist. The ears are filled with teriyaki chicken. It is sweet and thickly flavored. The swim ring part contains Chinese seasoned chicken. It has a simple taste. It is nice to be able to enjoy two different flavors in one dish. The next area to be introduced is the Lost River Delta. The 
The area is inspired by the jungles of Central America circa 1930, with ancient archaeological sites that will make you feel like an explorer. The first restaurant in this area is Miguel's El Dorado Cantina. This restaurant has a wide variety of menu items, including Duffy sweets, but this is the dish we will introduce here. This is the spicy smoked chicken leg. The smoked chicken has a wonderful aroma and is very appetizing. The surface is crispy and the inside is juicy. The slight spiciness is nice. The chicken has good elasticity and is very satisfying. It tastes even better in the jungle. Next, we will introduce some popular sweets sold at both Disneyland and DisneySea. This is Little Green Dumplings. These dumplings are based on the Little Green Men, the popular characters from Toy Story. The dough is made of rice cakes and has a chewy texture that is very addictive. It contains three little green men, all in different flavors. This is chocolate cream flavored. It is sweet and has a nice cocoa flavor. This is custard cream. It has a rich taste of egg. The strawberry cream has a fresh strawberry flavor. It looks cute but tastes like authentic sweets. Next, we will introduce this store, Expedition Eats. Let's try this dish, which is reputed to be delicious. This is the Yucatan Sausage Dog. It is a sausage with herbs wrapped in a fluffy bread. The bread is baked, so the outside is crispy. The sausage is salty and the juices overflow. The prices are reasonable, but the food is big and filling. The next area we will introduce is Port Discovery. This area is designed to look like a port town of the future where nature and science are fused together. The first restaurant in this area is Breezeway Bites. Here we eat a dish that's been talked about on social media as being delicious. This is fried pizza turnover. This is a dish from Puglia, Italy, called panzarotti, which is calzone fried in oil. The dough is nice and crispy. Inside is chicken and mozzarella cheese. The melted mozzarella cheese is creamy and delicious. It has a nice sourness from the tomatoes and a fresh flavor from the basil. It's great to be able to enjoy the authentic taste of Italy at DisneySea. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Bayside Takeout. The creme brulee-like churros are popular here, but this time we will introduce a dish that reminds of Japan. This is the sushi roll. It is made of rice wrapped with shrimp and chicken cutlet. It has a nice smell of sesame seeds. Vinegar is added to the rice so it tastes refreshing. The shrimp and chicken cutlet inside the rice has a plum texture and a sweet taste. The seaweed is a nice accent. The sesame seeds are colorful and pretty. The next area we will introduce is Mysterious Island. This is located at the base of a volcano in the center of Disney Sea. This is the area where the journey to the center of the Earth and 20,000 leagues under the sea attractions are located. The first place to visit in this area is the Nautilus Galley. This is a restaurant where we can enjoy the atmosphere of mysterious island while having a meal. This is one of the most popular dishes at Disney Sea. This is a gyoza sausage bun. The gyoza-shaped dough is freshly steamed and fluffy. The inside is filled with ground pork, cabbage, chives, and other ingredients to recreate the taste of gyoza. 
It is recommended to go there around 10 a.m. because it gets crowded during lunchtime on holidays. Next, we will introduce some dishes from the refreshment station. This wagon offers a slightly different types of churros. These churros are made of potato dough. They are crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. Inside the dough is a demi-glace sauce. The strong seasoning goes well with the potato dough. The surface has a nice chicken taste with a slight saltiness. The next area is Arabian Coast. This is an area inspired by the Arabian Nights where you can meet Genie, the popular character from Aladdin. The first restaurant in this area is Sultan's Oasis. Sultan's Oasis is a popular restaurant where we can enjoy a meal while feeling the world of the Arabian coast. This restaurant introduces dishes with an Arabian atmosphere. This dish is a meat sauce wrapped in naan, a bread of South Asian origin. The long naan is very satisfying. The dough has a nice chewy texture. It is nice that there is a lot of minced meat in the meat sauce. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Kasaba Food Court. This is a place where you can enjoy authentic curry and feels as if you are in a luxurious Indian palace. This restaurant offers some of the most inexpensive and tasty dishes in Disney Sea. This is tandoori chicken. It has a nice flavor because of combination of several spices, such as chili pepper, coriander, cumin, and turmeric. They use chicken thighs, so it's fatty and juicy. The meat is marinated in yogurt before grilling, which makes the meat more tender. The last area we will introduce is Mermaid Lagoon. This area is inspired by the world of the movie The Little Mermaid and Triton's Kingdom, located underground, is an underwater world just like the one in the movie. The first thing to eat in this area is ice cream. There are four types of ice cream available, but here are a few that are perfect for this area. Milk ice cream is sandwiched between shell-shaped monaka. It has a nice crispy texture of the monaka. The ice cream has salt in it, so the saltiness enhances the sweetness of the milk. There is also strawberry sauce inside. The sweetness and slight sourness of the strawberries go well with the salty ice cream. The last restaurant we will introduce is Sebastian's Calypso Kitchen. This restaurant is located in the basement and is air-conditioned, so it is a good place to take a break on a hot or cold day. There are two recommended dishes at this restaurant. The first one is a sponge cake in the shape of Mickey's face. It's a cute little sweet that looks just like Mickey. The dough has a sweet taste of milk and eggs. The dough is filled with strawberry-flavored cream. The cream has a little sourness and strong sweetness. It's a nice cold sponge cake. The last dish is a pizza in the shape of Mickey's face. The ears are seasoned with tomato sauce and the face is seasoned with teriyaki sauce and mayonnaise. There's salami under the tomato sauce which gives it a nice meaty texture and salty accent. The beef is juicy and seasoned with sweet teriyaki sauce. Corn and mayonnaise make pizza even more delicious. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!